So a new scope is introduced upon entry to a subroutine. Now, what is what does this mean? New scope is introduced when you enter a subroutine. So when I start executing, say, F1, at that time, मेरा जो old scope रहेगा, जब मैं main execute करता रहूँगा, तो मेरा जो scope रहेगा, वो उससे F1 जब execute करूँगा, तो अलग scope होगा. Means, whatever is active when I am executing F1 will be different from what was executing previously when I was executing main. Similarly, when I start executing F2 will be totally different than what was the scope when I was executing F1. That is up to line number 14, when I was executing F1, then my scope will be different than when I am executing F1. That means the things or objects which are live and which are not live, that set will change. जब मेन एक्सेक्यूट कर रहा हूँ, तो जो ऑब्जेक्ट्स, जो वेरिएबल्स, जो फंक्शंस, जो मॉड्यूल्स, जो स्ट्रक्चर्स, जो क्लासेस लाइव रहेंगे, उनका जो सेट रहेगा, डेट सेट विल डिफर व्हेन आई एक्चुअली स्टार्ट एक्सेक्यूटिंग अ सब फंक्शन एफ वन, डेट इज़ व्हाट इज़ मेंड बाय स्कोप ऑफ़ � Whenever you enter a subroutine, the scope, new scope is introduced. New scope is introduced. Man, का मतलब क्या है? मेरा compiler check करेगा कौन-कौन से variable dead हो गए, कौन-कौन से variable live होने वाले हैं, और उस हिसाब से it will adjust the list of active members or active objects as far as my program is concerned, and that is what is referred to as scope. Binding is created for local objects and deactivated bindings for global objects that are hidden by local objects of the same name. So this is another important thing or important scope rules that I explained in this example. So I have a local variable A and I have a outer variable A. So this outer variable, when I start executing this in internal subroutine, F2, when I start executing at that time, the A has to deactivate the binding of the outer variable, and the A binding is internal, inside F2, the A has to activate the binding. And that is defined by what? That is defined by the programming language scope rules. <coughs> and understand that many programming languages differ in how they define the scope rules. Many programming languages differ in how they achieve the scope for a variable. Scope Q important hai? Scope is important hai ke scope se determine hoga ke aap kis object ka use kar sakte ho aur uska use kab tak kar sakte ho. That is determined by the scope. And scope is for every object. It is for functions, it is for class, is it, it is for variables, everything. We only main, mainly talk about, not only, we mainly talk about scope of a variable a lot. And we say that there are different storage classes in C. If I declare a variable using auto, register, uh, global, or some other storage class, uh, the uh, scope of variable differs. So, wo scope that is what we are referring to right now. Okay, what is the third rule related to scope in C programming language? On a subroutine exit, when a subroutine exit is exited, then the local bindings will destroy and the bindings that we deactivated, we will reactivate them. We will be reactivating the bindings for the global objects that were hidden because of certain local variables. So this is, these are the three scope rules that a C program generally uses when it is evaluating a static code. Again, C is a compiled programming language, so it will do this analysis statically. So this analysis will be done in the compilation phase. And if I find certain scope rules are, uh, what you can say, uh, not followed correctly while writing the code, the errors will be raised. And if all the scope rules are followed correctly, then the meaning of the code would differ 
from any other meaning of the code. So that is important thing to understand. Okay. So these manipulations of binding. यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है? एक C program कर क्या रहा है? जब नया कोई subroutine को हम लोग enter कर रहे हैं, at that time हम लोग बोल रहे हैं कि मेरा पुराना scope अभी मैं use नहीं करूँगा, and I start using the new scope. Now there will be certain bindings that I will be deactivating and certain bindings I will be creating. The bindings for the local objects will be created, and the bindings for the global objects, which are having same name as that of some local objects will be hidden by the local objects. Okay. Next thing that we will do is when the subroutine execution completes and subroutine is exited using the return statement, at that time the local bindings are destroyed. So I won't be able to now use the local variables and the, the bindings for the global objects which were hidden partly due to use of same named objects inside the block are now reactivated. So that is what is happening here. ये जो manipulation हो रहा है binding binding का may at first glance appear to be runtime operation. ये runtime में होना चाहिए ऐसा आपको लगेगा. But they do not require the execution of any code. And most portions of the program in which binding is active are completely determined at compile time. So ये important understanding है. कि आपको ऐसे लगेगा कि ये सब जो डिसीजंस है बाइंडिंग के स्कोप रिलेटेड डिसीजंस है ये डिसीजन रन टाइम में लेंगे तो वो आसान होगा ऐसा अपने को अपरेंटली लगेगा बिकॉज़ व्हेन द कोड इज एग्जीक्यूटिंग इट इज नेचुरली इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो व्हेदर द वेरिएबल इज लाइव और नॉट व्हिच वेरिएबल नेम द नेम ऑफ द वेरिएबल दैट वी आर यूजिंग व्हिच वेरिएबल और व्हिच मेमोरी लोकेशन डस दिस वेरिएबल रेफर टू वो क्वेश्चन रन टाइम में आना चाहिए, because that is more useful while I'm executing the code. But this analysis is generally done by compiler at the compile time only. As far as C programs are concerned, this is obviously done at compile time because it is a static, it is statically scoping the things. So the rules of C programming languages are statically scope rules. So it is doing the bindings statically. Okay, we look at the C program and know which names of the. So this is what they say. So even we, by looking at the C program, we can do the analysis and understand what which names are referring to which objects. Can I which names are referring to local objects? Which names are referring to global objects? At different points in the program, based on purely text rules, textual rules. उसको execute करके देखने की ज़रूरत नहीं होती. तो कंपाइलर का ये रोल है कि वो बाइंडिंग्स को डिसाइड करे कौन सा वेरिएबल कब लाइव है कौन सा वेरिएबल कब डेड है दैट डिसीजन कंपाइलर कैन टेक एंड इफ कंपाइलर इज टेकिंग दैट डिसीजन देन वी कॉल दैट काइंड ऑफ बाइंडिंग एज स्टैटिक बाइंडिंग द स्कोप ऑफ द बाइंडिंग इज डिटरमाइंड स्टैटिस्टिक स्टैटिकली बाय द कंपाइलर ऐसे हम लोग बोलते हैं दैट बाइंडिंग इज स्टैटिक बाइंडिंग ओके some other languages like APL, Snowball, and early dialects of Lisp, they actually are dynamically scoped. They actually determine the bindings dynamically. Dynamically means when the program executes at the execution time, they tend to decide what is live and what is not. Their binding depends on the flow of execution at the runtime. Runtime execution kaise hoga uske upar उनका बाइंडिंग का डिसीजन डिपेंडेंट रहता है तो बाइंडिंग का डिसीजन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट चेंजेस द मीनिंग ऑफ द कोड व्हाई आई विल गिव यू एन एग्जांपल अगर मेरा सी कोड ये पर्टिकुलर वेरिएबल ए को ये एग्जीक्यूशन के टाइम पे ये वेरिएबल ए को बाहर का वेरिएबल ए एज्यूम करता तो ओके okay, इस कोड का मीनिंग थोड़ा अलग हो जाता से सपोज दिस इज नॉट ए एंड दिस इज बी फॉर इंस्टेंस एंड आई हैव दिस इज सी सॉरी दिस इज this is a but it is returning c suppose okay so in this code in this code please understand that agar ye particular variable a so c q likha maine it should be a only so agar ye particular a jo hai ye bahar wala a consider hota okay and suppose yeah bahar wala a consider hota to 
मेरा रिटर्न वैल्यू अलग होता है यहाँ पे सो आई एम नॉट असाइनिंग इट टू ए आई एम असाइनिंग दिस टू सी सपोज ओके अगर इंटरनली इंटरनल ए और एक्सटर्नल ए में कंफ्यूजन हो जाता और रन टाइम में मैं डिसाइड कर रहा हूँ बाइंडिंग ओके एंड आई कंसिडर दैट वेन आई एम बाइंडिंग दिस वेरिएबल नेम ए आई एम बाइंडिंग इट टू द आउटर ए then what will happen is my resultant value that gets returned from function f1 is b plus c if i associate this name a to this outer a i will be returning what i will be returning b plus c that is 40 as a return value and if i'm actually saying that this a is internal a to this function local to this function f2 then whatever i'm returning will be fed to c and this a will still have value 10 okay so run time mein agar main binding decision leta hu then those binding decision may give me a different result set than from the static binding if i do static binding so ye thoda sa cheez jo hai wo after experiencing the run time binding you will understand we'll see some more examples to elaborate this and confirm our understanding about it okay so instead of calling scope of a binding people tend to use the term scope to represent the idea so ye jo binding hai scope by jo scope word hai wo actually binding ka scope rehta hai ki when a binding is active when a binding is not active that is decided by the scope agar binding ka scope hai to binding active hai binding ka scope nahi hai to binding active nahi hai so this is how we should actually technically refer to the word scope as but generally we say scope independent of the word binding isliye humko ye thoda sa ajeeb lagta hai jab main bolta hu scope is of a binding okay this is what is written over there uh, informally a scope is a program region so scope hota kya hai agar main uh, layman terms mein batau to scope is a program region of maximal size in which no binding is changed कोई भी बाइंडिंग नहीं चेंज हो रहा ऐसा जो प्रोग्राम का रीजन है उसको स्कोप कहते हैं ओके फॉर इंस्टेंस अगर ये मेरा सी प्रोग्राम है तो यहां से जब मैं शुरू करूंगा एग्जीक्यूशन ओके वहां से जब ये कॉल होगा तब तक एक स्कोप रहेगा व्हेन आई एम एग्जीक्यूटिंग एफ वन ओके एंड आई रीच दिस पॉइंट मेरा माई स्कोप विल रिमेन सेम एज आई स्टार्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग एफ my scope would change as i am i am executing f2 my scope remains same as i exit f2 and i start executing again f1 my scope changes and as i return to main after f1 execution is complete again the scope changes